I think I'll just take all this home. Do you think he'd miss it? Okay, here we are. It's actually a nice day out today. It was really shitty and rainy out this morning, but it seems to be easing into some nice weather today. Which is fine with me, because I'm not in a rush to do anything today. It's Saturday. But I got thinking, we got talking about the old truck there and the shifter on the floor and stuff like that last time. And I got thinking, you know how I've been saying the engine in that old Chevy there, she's got a knock to her. Or a piston slap, I mean, I should say. Well, I can't see this thing getting done anytime in the near future because things are too expensive in this day and age, as you know. But I got thinking, I got a perfectly good 5.3 LS sitting in this truck. And I'm wondering if maybe if I should throw it in the old truck and then later on throw something in this thing when it's more done and ready but then it's not going to be running and i can't move it and everything else and this and that and the other thing so i don't know i'm i'm lost i don't think i'm going to put the shifter in the old truck though i think i'm just going to leave her the way she is i don't want to cut a hole in the floor plus it's not designed for it so if you shift her too hard you'll rip right out of the floor i just don't know man it's quiet out here today Isn't that beauty? I did start collecting a little bit more scrap again. I got some old tunnel covers and some other gear in here. So I'm starting to get another scrap trailer going. You might as well, if it sits there, you might as well fill her up with money, right? Ding, ding, they say. So we'll probably get that done. We'll probably start to do that. We we'll probably won't do that. I don't know what to do. Frig. I'm having mixed feelings on everything. The truck's running right now and I want to drive it. I should just drive it with a piston slop. Who gives a shit? So what if it blows up? I don't care. First thing first though, I do have to get rid of this trailer. So if you know anybody that's looking for a nice trailer, you know the work I put into it. Just watch my previous videos. That trailer will be for sale. I'm gonna ask 20 or best offer. It's a 16 to buy that trailer new, you're 36 or so plus tax and everything else, so 40 grand. Because trailers went ridiculous. So you sell you that one for half price is almost like new. It's definitely always been maintained, that's for damn sure. Chevy Silverado is running good. Update on that. The only thing is, I got a knock sensor code again. Brand new knock sensors, I've changed them around, I still can't get rid of that code, so I don't know what's going on there. If you guys have a 2007 or and th to 13 Chevy Silverado with a knock problem, with a, holy, the lens is dirtier than dicks. You probably didn't even see the LS through that lens. So if any of you have a, 2007 to 13 Chevy Silverado and I've changed the knock sensor and you still have a knock sensor code. Let me know. Maybe it's got a knock. Never thought about that, eh? Oh, there you go for a walk with a dog. Look at him. Oh, he's going for a car ride with the dog. Very right not, buddy. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I got one eye back from Trevor. If you know what one eye is, one eye is that scooter I had that I Gave it over to Trevor there, Couture, to drive around there at TC Tune, and he wrecked it within one month. Not even. Wrecked it within the second try of using it. So, I tore it apart at work the other day, and it's saying something about a overload protection. Thingamabobber. I don't know if it's in the the wheel or what, but I got that at work, and I forgot to bring it home this weekend, because I was going to work on that. This thing is working good. The old Outstorm's still up and running. It's a pretty good machine, that one. Friggin' right it is. How's this for an exciting video? I'm lazy as fuck today. I don't feel like doing nothing. It does smell good out though. It smells like spring. Spring's in the air. Oh, Travis is burning, that's why. Travis got some stuff on fire over there again. Ah. You know the pond's hot when it's steaming. My fish have a freaking sauna. Spoil little bastards. My good old dad and mom are supposed to be coming out for a visit today too. So they should be here soon. They told me around 11, but they're not on a time schedule. So it might not be 11. It could be pretty close to 11, but we'll have to see. 
I never got any further with the seat in this truck either. It's still in the back seat of my other truck. I gotta find some foam. You ever price foam lately for a seat? It's ridiculous in price. Probably cost me $100 to put a piece of foam in the bottom of that seat. So if anybody's got a foam to live in my area, let me know, because I need a piece. It's gonna be pretty much five feet across for this old girl. Five feet by two feet should work good. Maybe, yeah, five feet by, not even four and a half by three and, or two and three quarters. I don't know, something like that. My neighbor there asked to borrow the log splitter the other day and I told him I sold it. So I think he was a little bummed about that. But hey, it is what it is. Should've sold to him maybe. Should've said, hey Travis, or... careful. Should've said, hey Travis, you wanna buy my log splitter? The only problem is I gotta borrow it once in a while. Parents just left, had a hell of a good visit. We did, I washed my mom's car for her, so she's all set. Now I'm just out in the truck. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee, some gas, because I'm out of gas almost. And then we might go and see Mr. TC Tuned for a bit. See what he's up to. See if he's got any further on the race cars there. And then uh, go from there. I just picked up a cafe mocha from McDonald's. $5.64. And it tastes like shit. Like, I mean, just awful. I thought Tim Hortons was expensive. Cafe mocha, you get there for almost half the price and it tastes 10 times better. And I'm not a Tim Hortons fan. What the hell? McDonald's, you suck. You're too expensive for everything you have now. Well, we're back at Trevor, so let's take a look and see what's going on here and see what's new. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, bud? I see that you got uh, this thing kind of painted up and all tore apart again. Uh, yeah, I gotta get the motor out too. So. Oh my gosh. Once I get the motor out, we put the heads together and uh, get that going. Cool. Ah. Anybody know what that is? Leave a comment down below. Captain? What's that? Oh, here's all the gear that you've seen on the engine. Now it's on a table. And it looks friggin' decent. I think I'll just take all this home. Do you uh, think he'd miss it? I mean, if you throw me six zeros worth of money with a number in front, you can take it. Yeah, no doubt, <laughs> eh? That's friggin' crazy. And not a number one. <laughs> Frig. So what about this thing? What's going on with it? You got it covered up. Yeah, I got it covered up. Uh, you know, still the same spot there. Uh, we got the transmission in. Uh, oh. I got the intake done, but I don't know where the hell I put that. Might intake be. looks like it's in the back. I've seen an intake oh. back there, I think. There it is, right there. Yeah. Let's see, let's see it. Hold on, let me, let me pull. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, I got all the methanol stuff on nice. it. Nice. So... Got the motor in, we're just waiting on a couple of small parts. Put um, the motor in the last time you were here? I don't know if I recorded it being in or not, I don't think so. Yeah, don't rip this, this is like 60 bucks. What, that little tarp? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Little huffer down here, little huffer over there. Yeah, two huffers. Little... Two huffers make it right. How you doing? Lots of how you doing. And Trevor got a new crankshaft for his engine too. So leave me a comment down below if you want to see us rip apart his engine and I'll take you along for the ride on that. But you gotta leave me any comments down below. What are we gonna call it? Juicy know, what are you gonna, engines. Is that what you're calling it? <laughs> Juicy. He's That's got this. my nickname if anybody's asking. A lot of people in America call me Juicy because of my last name. There you go. So he's got this car in the go now. He's well the front end on this thing. We got a, what do you call that? A vertical radiator? Horizontal. Yeah, horizontal <laughs> radiator, sorry about that. Yeah. All the plates welded in, front end's getting down. I got uh, probably an hour's worth of welding to actually finish it up. Oh. Uh, True North turbos. How you I mean, doing? This bitch is, let me pick this that's up. From, that's from, Kyle, that's what Kyle uses. Kyle owns that, I believe. Yeah. Look at that, but Kyle, you're making a sale over here, bud. This bitch is gonna go right there. Holy, you make it look so easy to hold. That thing's heavy as dick. It is. <laughs> I just don't breathe when I hold it, so that'd be yeah, good. Yeah, and then you just waiting for... The owner of this car was here earlier. We're waiting on a water pump, I guess. Yeah, I gotta decide what water pump we're going with so I know where to put the turbo. We need a Gen 4 Valley, or uh, Gen 4 timing cover. With the, we're converting this to 58X crank and 4X camshaft. So that's at the front. Nice. Friggin' rights, boys. Yeah. Lots of shit on the go. Hey. What's that? 
We're just gonna be here for a visit, and then we're gonna head oh, back home and see I what's what. I got a treat for the. Oh, hold on, we got something else here, boys, girls, yeah. peoples. What do we got over here? Friggin' Mo, you're making a damn mess in my shop. We got a little treat for the El Camino there. What is that? Comp solid shaft rockers. Nice. So how yeah. do they work? Like do you have they to just change it? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to get different push rods once we get it in there. And this is a 1.82 ratio uh, rocker. It's got only got stock rockers in there. Nice. So Brett, the, That's the owner of this car called me and I told him, you know, we did everything. I feel like this is probably the weak point, and he said I want it Brett proofed. So just get whatever you need. Brap? Brap proofed? Brett proof. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Because he likes to break lots of shit. I still like brap proof. Sounds good too. Yeah, brap proof. So that's my goal. Is that Brett, Brett proof this thing. Yep. I can't even say it now because you got me all left up. Brett proof so you can give her all the beans. Brett proof, yes. So he can give it all the beans. Yep. You're going to have all the horse torques, Brent. Lots of horse torques. Reagan rates. All three of them have lots of horse torques. But like I said, leave me comments down below if you want me to come out here more often. And or if, if you, you want to see us build an engine. Or if you want to see Trevor build an engine. Horsepower engine. It won't be me. I'll be watching. No, I'll make you do shit. Yeah. I do want to try out the TIG though. We got to get the dirty old Bilsom on the TIG. See how he works out with that. Lots of popcorn welding. Yeah. Nah, she'll be gold. You'll be like, holy, I haven't had you weld my shell all your life. Hey, hey, what else is up there? I don't know. Drive shaft? Bench has gone over there. Oh, yeah. You can actually work around the hoist. I don't think I showed that bench before, though. No, but you hated that bench being there when we were doing the freaking El Camino. No, I didn't. I used it. Well, put the parts on it, right? I'm not going to use it anymore. We got Ooh. lots of room now. This is there my hoist. There you go. Bay. Perfect. So we're going to notch this out right here. So when I get a car that's a little higher, it can go up into the roof. Good idea. Mm. So you don't have to bend over underneath it. Exactly. That's what I do. Where'd you get them lights? They're pretty cool. That would burn out. Oh. oh, shit. These things were awesome. They were like 40 bucks for two of them on Amazon. Holy. You need two more. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They're starting to burn out. Oh. They've been on for... I've had them since I've had the house. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're due. Yeah, they're, they're over the 10,000 hour mark. Oh, probably. Yeah. Hey, you know anyone that needs an LT block? Yeah, LT block for yeah. sale. Ooh, look at the new car wheels. Look at these. Look at that. Or Jason. Right there. LT block 5.3. Good shape. I bought it thinking it was an LS block and I got here and it ended up being an LT block. There you go. How much? Uh, for what I paid, $100. There you go. Comes with the time covers. There you go. LT block, 100 bucks. Come get her now. Hey, look at I got this too. And an intake. An intake with some Come injectors. get her now. Yeah, with injectors. 150 bucks. wonder what size injectors. 512s. Yep. 1, 2, 5, 9, 4, 5, 12. 150 bucks. <laughs> Fuck. What? 50 bucks. 100 bucks then. 100 bucks sounds good. But anyways, you gotta hurry up and get your car back together. Shit. No, it's not a piece of shit. It looks nice. Yeah, I got a trailer. Actually, I should go through that trailer because I had two people asking me about this trailer. Yeah. It's got a little bit of rust on it down here. Not too bad. A couple spots. No damage though. It's the rust is not yeah, bad on fixable. this trailer at yep, all. Yep. Underneath solid. It's needs a good have, buff job. It's gonna have all new reflective tape on it. There we you go. Oh, it's open. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's the inside. It smells really good in this trailer. For any is. Like grapes. Yeah. Cotton candy. But what comes with it, Trav? That bed. The bed. Oh yeah, fold down and bed. And the cabinets. Cabinets. AC heat. AC lights. heat light. Winch. Nice. Oh yeah, it's built right in. Yeah, that's it. There you I'm, go. Twenty six foot. I'm taking this. Twenty six foot, right? Eight. Twenty eight foot. I'll leave the one on the door. Twenty eight foot, Captain. Yeah. The roof had a leak a long time ago, but I sealed. That's oh, yeah. that's old. I resealed the whole roof myself. Yeah. I used uh, the proper caulking they sell. Yeah. And then I also use this special tape. It's like a, you know, the stuff that repairs the farmer's white canvases yeah, on the yeah. big buildings. I use that over top of the caulking so it'll never leak again. Perfect. If it leaks, I'd be very surprised. Yeah. If anything, you just gotta throw some new wood if you want to look perfect. I don't need to do anything. No, 
Somebody I'm saying. Yeah. If you want to make it look perfect, you just got to throw some new wood on it. Right on. All right. Well, there you go. There's an update at Trevor's. Friggin' right it is. The old TC tuned. Boys, girls, peoples. It's even got outside lights, too. Yeah, they work. Outside they lights. Work. Door light. Awning. Brand new electric winch on the front. How's the awning? Right. What kind of shape's the awning in? Perfect shape. Perfect shape awning. Decent. The, the handle's broken on it, though. Well, the handle's broken on it. 10-4. Still comes out. Still use it every time. Electric. Hey, check this out. Well, oh, hold on a minute. It's remote control. Yep. Perfect. My buddy does that with his trailer, Sean. Yeah. Right on. This comes with the, the the trailer bars, the sway bars, the brake, and the the hitch as well. Mister Sell it here, hey? Just saying. Turn the old life with both. It don't matter it. to me if it sells or not because I use the trailer all the time. There so. you go. Perfect. I'm You've just, got windows, just so you know. I'm trying to. Uh, What's this in here? Generator. Build some business stuff. That's why I want some money. Oh, it comes with a generator. No, it does not. Oh, it comes with a whole four generator. Comes with that battery, though. Comes with the battery. Captain. And four. Little update on the old Trevor's place there, TC Tune. See what he had going on. I'm gonna start doing this a little bit more off. This kind of floating around my friend's house that are working on cars and seeing what they're up to. Because it's always nice to see what everybody's building or playing with. So leave me a comment down below. If you want to see me do more pop-in videos to see what everybody's up to and what they're building and stuff like that. I know a few people around the area that are building some cars and working on some cars and this and that and the other friggin' thing, so we could definitely check it out. Like, I wouldn't mind going by Ray's and checking out his car. Frank, if we went the other way, we could have done that. We're not going that way, but... I'm gonna try to get out of the house a little bit more often and visit some old friends that I haven't seen and this and that and the other thing, because I do, I don't know, I just don't do much anymore, socially. Because I have YouTube, I think. But we'll have to see. Leave me a comment down below. Other than that, hopefully, everyone's having a good day. And we'll see you on the next one.